respected soldier of Ladakh. Today at the war memorial, the wreaths were offered by the family members of Colonel Shivang Vinchan, the civil dignitaries of UT Ladakh, and the retired and serving members of the Armed Forces Fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move further with today's event, I would like to acquaint the August gathering with the Colonel Shivang Vinchan's life. Kanchin Baj Mahavi Chakra Sena Medal was a highly decorated officer of Indian Army. He was one of the only six serving personnel who have been awarded Mahavi Chakra twice, the second highest gallantry award of the nation. Colonel Shivang Rinchin was born in the year 1931. <laughs> The winner of this speech competition is in the Sinam Choskit competition is Singe Namgyal. Karma Sivang of SOS TCD School. School. And the winner of the competition is Chinit Dorje of Mahabodhi Residential School. met my Mimile, Mimikandu Shivamananjande. He has always been an inspiration, especially during my teenage time, because he was also a teenager when he went to the battlefield. So I think he serves as an inspiration and a model to everybody in this country. Thank you. extremely proud of my father. The fact that he is not just an inspiration for us, but the entire country leaves me speechless. It's honor to be here talking about what a hero my father was. It's not easy for a young teenager to be on the battlefield. Well, my father was one of a kind. For the world, he was an army officer, but for me, he will always be a father first. Looking at him, how brave he was, has convinced that he was not an ordinary person. And I'm so glad to call him father. Thank you. I am the uh, uh, niece of Colonel Rinchen. I am uh, extremely proud to be here present today at this occasion. Uh, as we all know that he is a, he's a great uh, uh, war hero uh, who has been acknowledged by the entire uh, Indian Army. And uh, we are really extremely grateful to the Indian Army for giving the kind of honor that they give each year on this day. And uh, as you all know that he's a he's a great inspiration to the um, upcoming soldiers and also even with the Dark Scouts, I think I, I must add that we have always been, uh, our soldiers have always been brave and protected the country's border and um, you know, whether it's the Indochina or the Pakistan uh, border, we have always protected and I think we, uh, we can serve even better if the government should consider keeping the Ladakh, Ladakh Scouts intact, intact, the regiment intact and uh, I think that uh, this uh, plea of ours will be taken up by the government. I am the and the 26th Punya And this day, the Das Scouts and the army are very happy to be here. They honor them and they remember them. और हम सब उनको वैसे तो 26 इयर्स हो चुके हैं उनको गुजरते गुजर के लेकिन वी स्टिल रिमेंबर हिम ही इज ऑलवेज इन द हार्ट्स ऑफ ऑल द लदाखीज ऑफ ऑल द इंडियन आर्मी एंड ही वाज एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर द यंगस्टर्स एज वेल एज 
uh, all the Ladakhis as well as all the youngsters all over the uh, all over the country, because at such a young age, at the age of 17, he got his first Mahavir Chakra. Uh, I think this is a record which has not been broken yet. And then the second Mahavir Chakra also he got, where he captured more than 804 square kilometers of the Pakistani territory, reclaimed it into the Indian side, uh, including Tuk Tuk Chalunka and all the eight surrounding villages. And we are very, very proud of him. And uh, had, there, uh, had the uh, Indian government that time not, um, you know, uh, asked for ceasefire, he, his uh, aim was to reach Gilgit Baltistan that time. But just for, I think it was just a matter of uh, 24 hours, he could not, you know, reach that side. And uh, we are very proud of him. And uh, I mean, it is my request to all the youngsters, all the, uh, I mean, Ladakhis as well as all the uh, country people to please uh, honor the army wherever they are, whatever post they are, whatever rank they hold. Army, because of army, we are here. If army is not there, then we will be nowhere. We will be either in China or in Pakistan. They are protecting our borders and they have left their, you know, families behind and looking after us. And we are here, you know, sitting comfortably because of the army. So please, uh, you know, honor the army and their families. Thank you so much.